What's happening with Nvidia's stock and what's the forecast for it? Let's first look at the volatility, as well as the latest news surrounding this company. We've been consolidating since March 8th, almost hitting $1,000, and recently nothing much has been happening. Let's take a look at the options market, specifically at volatility. The volatility is quite high at the moment. It's important to pay attention to this. I'll explain why shortly. It remains at a level of 60 to 70%, which is quite significant. Let's also consider the volatility smile as we can see it's present in the near future. It's directed both upwards and downwards, but if we look at longer expiration dates, we see that the volatility smile is quite pronounced, especially towards the calls. Towards increases and decreases, there's a very strong volatility spike. Let's also look at the implied volatility and the historical volatility at the moment. The implied volatility for Nvidia stock is higher than its historical volatility. We can draw conclusions from this and develop sound strategies, which I'll show you shortly. Let's also look at the open interest on the options as it will be key to the stock's further movement. At the top, we have call options, and at the bottom, we have put options with a very large volume on both types. There's a significant concentration at the $1,000 mark, at $900, and also at $500 for call options. Put options are distributed more evenly. I also wanna emphasize the expiration dates. As we can see, the weekly expiration date, which is March 15th this week, is highlighted. What does this tell us? It indicates a large volume of options is concentrated specifically on weekly options. What can we infer from this? Firstly, I remind you that market makers also influence the options market. Let me briefly explain how this works. Someone buys a call option, but there's always someone selling you that call option and that's precisely the market maker. When they sell a call, they need to hedge their position by buying stocks. Yes, it's a complex strategy, but it mainly employs delta neutral hedging. This strategy, I remind you, is dynamic. It constantly adjusts delta meaning there's a constant buying or selling of the underlying stock contract. And how does gamma squeeze work? When there are a lot of call options bought, the market maker starts pushing the stock upwards because they need to hedge by buying more calls, creating a feedback loop. This can drive the stock price up very high even regardless of its financial indicators. Again, I'm not arguing that Nvidia's financial indicators aren't very good. We see it has grown by 125% over the past year and by some metrics even by 500%. But regardless of these financial indicators, market makers can still drive up this stock. Questioning how things will end when the big seller arrives and whether they've arrived or not, well, we see increased volume, which occurred on March 8th. There was a possibility of a significant deal here and what will happen next is crucial. The key phrase here is that if the stock doesn't start moving upward soon, all these options we have will expire worthless, the ones I showed you this week. The market maker will then have to sell all these stocks because there will be nothing left to hedge and they can't hold on to them either. Consequently, a wave of selling will begin and just as the market maker pushes the stock up, it will also work downward. In other words, there will be sales and they will continue until some catalyst occurs again. So the logic is as follows, I don't know where the stock will go. Again, my philosophy is that nobody can predict stock movements. We can only build strategies, manage positions correctly, but based on this chart, based on the risk reward ratio, it's just mathematics, friends, it's theory and probabilities, just read books. Entering this stock at the moment is very risky. Disclaimer, I am not giving advice. Under no circumstances should you replicate my trades. If you do, you will definitely lose money. So I would definitely stay away from this stock right now because if we can't push it up, there's a high probability that we've reached a peak. Of course, there may be a continuation after a pullback, but how long this pullback will last is hard to say. It could continue for a very long time. So if we don't return to growth in the coming weeks, this entire impulse could fade and we'll start a correction. But again, this is solely my assumption based mainly on volatility and options. Again, I particularly don't like paying attention to technical charts, but again, we have a lot of gaps that will likely be filled sooner or later. It's obvious that Nvidia is riding the wave of excitement around artificial intelligence, and sooner or later, this may come to an end. Again, due to new technologies, this may not end soon, but still. I believe that the risk-reward ratio is not in the investor's favor at the moment, and I wouldn't want to get involved with this stock. Now, you might ask, if nobody knows where the stock will go, how do you make money? Let me demonstrate it clearly for you right now. We can certainly pay attention to all the news, but again, I wouldn't focus too much on them because the most important thing is big money and options market. All these news are not very important at the moment. So the question is, how to make money on Nvidia stock? Let me try to create some strategy for you. It will be carefully based solely on options. Again, I remind you that I wouldn't recommend replicating my trades because they are extremely dangerous and I'm not planning to open them anyway. Firstly, there's an interesting strategy that allows earning regardless of price movement. As you can see, there's always a profile here, but again, it starts decreasing if the stock sharply goes up or down. Here, you need to manage positions. That is, buy or sell shorter term options using additional strategy enhancement using additional hedging. 
It's called dynamic position management. I strongly advise against getting involved with options, but if you have any questions or need help creating a strategy, email me and I'll definitely help you. Let's go back to stocks and options. Again, even if you don't know where the stocks or options will go, you can still profit from them. The most important thing is smart position and portfolio management. This is what I'm always trying to emphasize to you. For example, you can buy 100 shares and continually sell calls on them, meaning you receive additional profit from these calls and then use that profit to buy more shares and sell more calls in the future. But again, selling calls needs to be done wisely. It should consider volatility. If we see that volatility on nearby strikes is consistently higher, we should take advantage of this. It's necessary to sell, let's say for two weeks, for three weeks ahead. But again, it should be done exceptionally wisely. Never exceed the risks. Everything should be done professionally. I also advise you to watch this video. Here I talked about the five most underrated stocks with great profit potential.